Osteoarthritis, also known as degenerative joint disease, is one of the most common causes of knee pain. More than 85% of people over the age of 65 have knee osteoarthritis. Some people suffer from knee arthritis at a much younger age. The knee joint is comprised of three bones, the thigh bone, the femur, the shin bone, the tibia, and the knee cap, the patella. The ends of the bones are protected by a rubbery cushion called cartilage. Cartilage does a wonderful job of absorbing the impact of walking, running, and jumping. Unfortunately, it has a very poor blood supply and does not heal itself very well when it is damaged. Over time, the cartilage can wear away like treads on a tire. Why some people suffer from arthritis at a much younger age than others can be a difficult question to answer. Anything that places more repetitive stress on the cartilage can make it wear away more quickly. Obesity can place a lot of stress on the knee. So can jobs and lifestyles that require a great deal of walking or climbing. A traumatic injury to the knee can accelerate degeneration of the cartilage. Genetics probably plays a role as well. As the cartilage wears away, the bone underneath begins to be damaged. This causes pain, especially with bearing weight, climbing stairs, or getting up from a sitting position. Doctors can often recognize arthritis on an x-ray. The space between the bones that is normally occupied by cartilage becomes more narrow as the cartilage wears away. As the bone underneath is damaged, cysts and bone spurs may form. Without the smooth surface of healthy cartilage, the knee may begin to grate and grind. The knee becomes stiff. As the knee becomes irritated, it swells. Sometimes the swelling is excessive, filling the knee with fluid. This is a condition known as a knee effusion. The effusion can add to normal arthritic pain by building up pressure inside the knee. This can be very painful and may make it difficult to bend the knee. If a large effusion is present, the fluid can be tapped. This is a procedure known as a knee aspiration. People who have a large effusion aspirated often feel instant relief. Treatment for osteoarthritis depends on the severity. Early arthritis can be successfully treated with anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen and naproxen and appropriate exercise. Injecting a steroid into the knee can be very effective in relieving pain. Many people refer to this as a cortisone injection. A series of hyaluronic acid injections can lubricate the knee like motor oil and provide relief. These injections are made by several different companies and have different brand names. As knee osteoarthritis worsens, anti-inflammatories, physical therapy, and injections become ineffective. Surgical options may be considered. Knee arthroscopy, or a knee scope, may provide temporary relief by cleaning the knee up from the inside. A camera is inserted through a small incision. An instrument, such as a shaver, is inserted through another small incision. Damaged cartilage can be debrided and loose cartilage can be removed. Knee replacement surgery may be necessary in cases of severe arthritis. An incision is made lengthwise down the front of the knee. The patella is pulled out of the way to expose the knee joint. The arthritic surfaces of the bone are removed. Metal implants are then cemented to the bone. A plastic spacer is placed between them. The knee is then closed and dressed. Following knee replacement surgery, physical therapy is helpful in order to return the knee to its full range of motion. Many surgeons allow their patients to walk on the new knee the day after surgery. Knee replacement surgery is proven to be effective and relatively safe.